Be seated. As academic registrar, it is both my privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to Cambridge Corn Exchange for this afternoon's Anglia Ruskin graduation ceremony, where we will celebrate the success of the class of 2017. The tradition of graduation ceremonies dates back to the 15th century and it is a tradition that has evolved since. Roughly translated, graduation means taking a step, and graduation symbolizes the move of the former student, now called a graduand, into a new role in society as a graduate, where they will use the skills and talents developed during their studies to contribute to the future advancement of society. Each graduate will cross the stage and shake hands with the vice chancellor to signal their transition to this new role and we will applaud them for their success so far 
and in anticipation of their contribution to society in the future. At the end of the ceremony, the Vice-Chancellor will formally admit all new graduates to the community of scholars, and as new members of that community, as the academic procession leaves the stage, the new graduates will join the procession, and that will bring the ceremony to a close. During the ceremony, those receiving higher research degree awards will have their hoods placed upon them by the Vice-Chancellor to signal that they have attained the very highest levels of academic achievement. So it's almost time for us to begin our formal proceedings. I hereby declare the ceremony to be in session, and I call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Ian Martin, to address you all. Vice-Chancellor. Graduates, family, friends, colleagues, as Vice-Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, it's my very great pleasure to be here today at this, your graduation ceremony. Firstly, from all of us here, our heartfelt and warmest congratulations on reaching this very significant milestone. Graduating from your chosen course, it's a very special day. Enjoy today, but also take a small chance to look forward to what's gonna stretch in front of you and the multiple careers that await you. Wherever that career journey takes you, enjoy the changes that you're going to encounter. Look for new advances. Challenge, provoke, implement and deliver new ideas. But above all, don't be so proud as to not recognize the inevitability of that change and how it will challenge you in your own lives and those who live and work around you. To quote Albert Einstein, Whoever undertakes to set himself up as judge of truth and knowledge is shipwrecked by the laughter of the gods. We have at least partially succeeded in our task if we've given you the skills and the confidence to influence and lead the change that will make a real difference to your work, home, and wider community. This year marks 25 years of us being a university. On the 16th of June, 1992, we became a university, a milestone that started in a history in 1858 with John Ruskin's inaugural address at the opening of the Cambridge School of Art, the first constituent part of what is now Anglia Ruskin University. The power of education, the importance of providing access to that education and innovation were part of our institutional DNA from that day forward. Our new strategy, Designing Our Future, was launched this year and outlines our continuing focus on transforming lives through innovative, inclusive, and entrepreneurial education and research. Over those 25 years, more than 140,000 graduates have taken the steps that you're about to take today across the stage, having achieved our higher education qualification from Anglia Ruskin University. They've studied courses ranging from architecture to zoology and very much in between. Each of those 25 years have seen major changes and developments for the university, and this year has been no exception. We were absolutely delighted to have maintained our position in the top 350 world universities. Now, you might say 350 doesn't sound very impressive. What's missing is the denominator, which is 20,000 it sounds a little more impressive. Whilst there is absolutely so, so much more to a university education than simply securing a well-paid job at the end, we were pleased to see that The Economist ranked ARU as one of the top 50 universities in the UK for delivering a positive financial benefit for our students. Continuing our success in the areas of enterprise and entrepreneurship, we won the Duke of York Award for University Entrepreneurship at the Lloyds Bank National Business Awards. Alongside these achievements, we've continued to invest in state-of-the-art facilities. The 45 million pound science center in Cambridge is now nearing completion. And for those of you who know our Chelmsford campus, you'll see the new School of Medicine rising from the ground as we speak. Alongside our education, academics from across the university have carried out important research focusing on pressing issues in the UK and further afield. The research highlights this year include work on blindness and vision, 
mental health, aging, law, finance, business, engineering, amongst many, many other areas. The universities achieved this year, but so have our students. Across all of our faculties, students have won national and international awards for their achievements, a true testament to the standing of ARU and the quality of the student body we have. As a university, we define our success by the positive impact we have on the lives of our students and the communities we serve. For us to succeed, we need more than ourselves. We need the support and input from many others and from you as our newest alumni. That support will inevitably take and does take many forms. We can strengthen the university on our own, but it's much stronger with that broader input and help. Over the years, that support has made a real difference. It's added value to the education we provide our students. It supports our researchers in pushing boundaries and gives us the opportunity to carry out a very wide range of activities that support the cultural, social, and economic well-being of our host cities and the wider region. It enables us in so, so many different ways to translate our designs into reality. And on behalf of the university, thank you for everybody who's given that support over the years and for the support to come. Before I close, I have to sp pay special mention to your families, friends and supporters, many of whom are in the theatre today, but many of whom won't be here. We know that they've supported all of your journeys in many different ways. Moral, spiritual, nutritional, and one suspects all too often financial. Anyone who has a university age child dreads the text which begins, everything is fine, but. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the staff across ARU who've contributed to so many aspects of your courses, together with our governing board who's helped shape the university through their wisdom and guidance. Wherever your ARU degree takes you, I hope that you do continue a relationship with this, your university, because whether you like it or not, your success and our success are now inextricably linked. In finishing, I return to John Ruskin. Say all you have in the fewest possible words, or your reader will be sure to skip them, and in the plainest possible, or he will certainly misunderstand them. I hope I haven't breached either of these today. Have a fantastic day, enjoy the celebration. Wherever your degree takes you, have a great time. Anglia Ruskin would not be where it is today without each and every one of you. Well done. Vice-Chancellor, thank you. We now come to the formal presentation of those receiving awards today. And I call upon Pro Vice-Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Gary Packham, to come to the podium to present to the Vice-Chancellor graduates from the Lord Ashcroft International Business School. Professor Packham. Vice-Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present to you graduates from the Lord Ashcroft International Business School. The award of Certificate of Higher Education, Charity and Social Enterprise Management, Lucy Humphrey. <laughs> Rebecca Steer. <laughs> Lisa Weir. The award of Foundation Degree in the Arts, Charity and Social Enterprise Management, Catherine Ann Bosley. <laughs> Justine Louise Hobbs. <laughs> Thomas William Jenkins. Julie Wharton. The award of Foundation Degree in the Arts, Professional Practice in International Trade, Hannah Bell. Ellie Chalmers. 
Nathan McGee. <laughs> Amelia Stott. <laughs> Sophie Tweedle. <laughs> Alison Young. <laughs> the Award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours General Business, Razan Ali Mubarak. The award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Accounting and Finance, Oluwa Palumi Laju Wami. <laughs> Femi Managwu. <laughs> Lydia Muzvizsiwa. <laughs> Joseph Taiwo. Rafaela Inez Zixaria de Pina. For the award of Foundation Degree in the Arts Management, Samantha Kerr. <laughs> Jeff Taylor. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Management, Thomas Forster. Brandon Theodore Linden Hall. <laughs> Oliver Michael Henderson. <laughs> Stephanie Howard. <laughs> Amanda Jane Hudson. <laughs> Sasha Anthea Wallace. The award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Studies, Natasha Omar Madhu Ramadan. <laughs> the award of Bachelor of Arts Business Management, Simon Gavin Grant. <laughs> the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours Business Management, Collins Yufumo Chichake Pekayuri. <laughs> Ashraf Ali. Pearl Almeres. <laughs> Lily Burnham. <laughs> Pak Chin Chang. <laughs> Annalisa Del Coli. <laughs> Saeed Bin Wang Kamal Ibrahim. Alba Teresa Albina Julius. <laughs> Fahid Nawaz. <laughs> Sin Sin Nji. <laughs> Terry Rippingale. <laughs> Daisy Simo. <laughs> Sikon Tang. The award of Bachelor of Science with Honours Business Management, Giovanni Abetti. <laughs> Akram Ali. <laughs> Esther Anita Akiri Ameo. <laughs> Matthew Bartlett. <laughs> Akshay Reddy Bakari. Lauren Jane Catherine Belfield. <laughs> Kieran Bell. <laughs> Corrado Besosi Gavotti. <laughs> Lucy Bohelova. <laughs> Stefanos Bukas. Also receiving the CMI Future Leaders Award for Cambridge, Wesley Carrington. <laughs> Sakira Chowdhury.
Tiago Pereira. <laughs> Polly Debnan. Mark Dockerell. Mary Emmy Linda Dewitt. Alice Elliott. Chantal Le Pair Fletcher. <laughs> Mohamed Bashir Grenat. <laughs> Melissa Groves. <laughs> Abdul Hakim. <laughs> Yuzair Haram. Scarlett Ellis Rose Harvey. Georgia Hazel. Jamel Hassan. Jason Ibanez. Meji Iji. Arafat Al Islam. <laughs> Yusra Mahmood. <laughs> Shem Josiah Marcus. <laughs> Gabrielle Martinez. <laughs> David Mazza. Alison Mayhew, <laughs> Jubed Mia, <laughs> Samantha Shah Morgan, <laughs> Hornwood Nuttahi, <laughs> Yvette Usafo, <laughs> Adam Peck. Anna Miriam Perez Sanchez. <laughs> Christian Joseph Popkins. <laughs> Abdul Rahman Rasmus Ali Khan. <laughs> Florin Chikupi. <laughs> Aswarya Sivanandam. Amy Matthews, Grace Stanley, Favia Sanarasan, Joseph Tetley, Joshua Townsend, Dominic Williamson. Emiliano Sara, for the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours International Management, Naimet Eduo. Ebi Timmy Ifeani Owe, award of Bachelor of Science with Honours International Business Management, Rohit Chaudhry. Manuel Obili. <laughs> Dio Gratius Joseph Peneza. <laughs> Tihai Min Trang Thoi. <laughs> For the award of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Business and Human Resource Management, Augustine Hermonziri Ajay Naku. <laughs> Teresa Asla. Jade Bedwell. <laughs> Hazel Britt. <laughs> also receiving the HROB Academic Excellence Undergraduate Award, Jessica Cochran.
Denise Delsa. Elosadi Omotola Eloyemi. Petra Hawker. Tanisha McKaney. Also receiving the Mid Essex Productivity Association Award, Petter Mali. Andrew Osusa. Pong Sapat Fufet. The award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours International Business Strategy, Bilal Ahmed. <laughs> Vice-Chancellor, that partially completes the list of graduands for me to present to you today. Professor Packham, thank you. We have many distinguished academic staff at Anglo Ruskin University, and I should now like to ask one of them, Dr. Ten Guan Ku, to come to the podium to offer a few words of reflection. Dr. Ku. Right. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, and graduates. It is wonderful to see so many of you here today to celebrate your great achievement. It is equally pleasing to see so many guests joining you on this memorable occasion. The first thing I'd like to say to you all is congratulations, and I sincerely hope that you enjoy the day. It seems a long time ago that I was in your place, and looking back, I remember the pride I felt in walking across the stage in front of my fellow students and my family that supported me so unconditionally during my studies. I also remember the occasion as one that was tinged with an element of sadness, recognizing that stage of my life was over and that I was now expected to enter into a new phase in which I would have to prove the value of what I've learned to a wholly different audience. I would from now on have to build my career in the wider world. It is an exciting time. It is also a time to, re to, reach, to reflect on how our university experiences have prepared us for this transition, how much we have learned and how much it has changed us. I am speaking to you today as a very proud graduate of Anglo Ruskin University and as someone that appreciates the sacrifices you have made to achieve your goals. And please believe me, it is a great achievement, far greater than just a piece of paper that comes with it. As time moves on, the full benefit of your experience will become more apparent. Your knowledge, your confidence, and the networks that you have built during your time with us are just a few of the things that you will appreciate as you move forward with your careers. But don't think that your education is now complete. It isn't. Learning is a lifelong process, and you now have an ideal base upon which to further develop your skills and knowledge. Moving on, I am convinced that you are well equipped to achieve great things in the future and to showcase the many values that we all hold here at Anglo Ruskin University. In this way, our relationship does not end here. Rather, it is just the beginning. You are all a part of a community of Anglo Ruskin University alumni, a body of successful people spread far and wide across the globe. Your achievement brings with it future challenges and responsibilities too. It requires you to contribute not only to your chosen profession, but also more widely between the com communities in which you will live and work as an essential expression of the values that you have subscribed to as graduates of such a progressive and dynamic university. In the last few years, our university has received many prestigious accolades and external awards. These would not have been possible without your efforts and your successes. 
With this in mind, I hope that you too share the pride in contributing to our collective success story, for which you will continue to support as ambassadors of the future. Our success is based on your success. We couldn't do it without you. As I said, today is a celebration and a time in which to look back at what you have achieved and also to look forward to pursuing your next set of aspirations. Far from being the end of the journey, it is merely a new direction and an opportunity for you all to move on with confidence. The future is as yet unwritten, and I sincerely hope that as you complete the next chapter, you will keep us informed of your successes. Finally, before I finish my speech, I would like to share with you some words that inspired me at my graduation. There is a glorious rainbow that beckons those with sense of adventure. And there are rewards at the end of that rainbow. I say, look at that horizon. Find that rainbow. Pursue it. Not all will be rich. Many will find a way of gold. But all who pursue that rainbow will have a joyous and exhilarating ride and some profit. So, without further pause, I wish you all an exciting, prosperous, and profitable future ahead. And all my very best wishes and congratulations once more. Thank you very much for your time, and please keep in touch with us all here at Anglia Ruskin University. Thank you very much. Dr. Ku, thank you. We now continue with the presentation of those receiving awards today, and I call again on Provost Chancellor and Dean of Faculty, Professor Gary Packham, to return to the podium to continue the presentation to the Vice Chancellor of graduates from the Lord Ashcroft International Business School. Professor Packham. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to continue the presentation of graduates from the Lord Ashcroft International Business School. The award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Management and Leadership, Simon Abbari. <laughs> Darren Arthur. <laughs> Andy Atkinson. <laughs> Andrew Baker. <laughs> Tracy Rose Barker. Jason Arthur Baxter. <laughs> Michaela Bell. <laughs> Jasbinda Bahanda. <laughs> Dean Robert Brearley. <laughs> Mark Richard Brown. <laughs> Catherine Cole. Michael Danks. George Dan. Wayne Leon Ford. Tahara Gibbons. Christy Green. James Dean Hadley. Robert Liam Hainsworth. Yeah. Michelle Heimarsh. Yeah. Neil Holden. Yeah. Philip Andrew Jackson. Yeah. Emily Joseph. Yeah. Thomas Lemaire. Oliver Thomas Moore. Thomas Scott Mortimer. Simon Dominic Marlene. Willem Mertzstar. 
Darren O'Brien. Natalie Abigail Ojibva. Katie Parker. Daniel Pugh. Jack William Richardson. Gail Patricia Mary Stowe. Ellis Louise Sayer. Shemha Tahari. Adam Wallace. Ben Ward. Elena Weisbrod. Georgia Francesca Wigmore. Jack David Williamson. Ruth Elizabeth Wilson. Mohammed Saif Ali Zia. For the award of Master of Arts, Leadership and Management, Tina Marie Mustafa. For the award of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Human Resource Management, Enibra Yikido Prosper Elba. Marius Bolmada. Evangelista Cross Nehejabiviti. For the award of Postgraduate Diploma Human Resource Management, Daniela Lauren Burford. Carolina Patricia Krusiek. Katie Jane Dedman. Lisa Dunn. Madonna Edward. Rachel Helen Gooch. Emily Grant. Harriet Grantham. Hannah Louise Hill. Roseanne Elizabeth Jackson. Hannah Ellen Keane. Harriet Meninick. Heidi Persephone Merrifield. Jamie Amanda Oakes. Tabitha Dawn Caroline Robolo. Emily Rebecca Sharp. Harriet Tingley. Rebecca Tompkins. Emma Wise. Charlotte Ann Alexandra Yelton. The award of Master of Science, Entrepreneurial Management, Charlotte Caffrey. For the award of Master of Arts, Human Resource Management, Aldemira Bell. Rebecca Jane Caldwell. Jing Jing Ding. Aisha Ajum. India James. <laughs> Catherine Louise Knott. <laughs> Stephanie Elizabeth Nixon. <laughs> Smart Tonya Okpara. <laughs> Gloria Amuchi Omeji. Catherine Pearson. Linda Pham. 
also receiving the HROB Academic Excellence Postgraduate Award, Faye Starling. <laughs> Conrad Fran Joe Faz. <laughs> Arua Bena Ugagaben Wilson. <laughs> For the award of Master of Business Administration, Sakara Beluta. Luan Giselle Benjamin. <laughs> Mei Lin Chan. <laughs> Amita Ganga. <laughs> Janelle Nicole George. <laughs> Mandy Danielle Javez. Cami Louise Gomez. <laughs> Udifa Mahendra Maradanayaka. <laughs> Oscar Chrissier Jan McKenzie. <laughs> Stacey Ann Antoinette Telemark. Um, yes. For the award of Master of Science Marketing, Anna Marie Hermes. Teoti Naguam Nago. For the award of Master of Science, Solution Focused Thinking and Leadership, Stephen Edward Arthur. Robert Paul Burrow. Carrie Royal. Trevor John Sewell. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present those who have been awarded higher research degrees. The award of Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis entitled Judicial Review Transforming the Practice of Human Resource Management in the Public Service of Trinidad and Tobago, Gloria Monica Edwards Joseph. <laughs> Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis entitled Evaluating the Disrupted Effect of New Technologies on Higher Education Business Models in Trinidad and Tobago, Nigel Falchon. For the award of Doctor of Philosophy and also receiving the Ruskin Medal for Student Research with a thesis entitled Illuminating the Way an Emergent Theory of Place-Based Leadership Development, Robert John Paul Warren. Vice-Chancellor, that completes the list of graduands for me to, to present to you today. <laughs> Professor Packham, thank you, and well done, everybody. We are now nearing the end of the ceremony, but first I should like to ask Wes Carrington, one of our wonderful new graduates, to come to the podium to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of all of those receiving awards today. Wes.
Vice Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow graduates, it is my pleasure to offer the vote of thanks for today on behalf of myself and the students graduating today at this ceremony. First, I'd like to thank all the team at Angela Ruskin, from the senior academic staff to the guys working behind the scenes. Your scholarly knowledge and expertise is an inspiration for us all. Throughout our education, you've created us a safe learning environment where we could share our ideas and actively listen to our peers. With thanks to you, we have graduated with um, employable skills valued the world over. Thank you. Next, I'd like to thank our friends and family, for it was them and their emotional support that pulled us through those tough times through learning. With their patience, love and insight, they enabled us to overcome those challenges of education. Not only that, but while our heads were full of ambition and gusto, they kept our feet to the ground. Thanks to them, they reminded us to stay true to our beliefs and to love ourselves. We'd like to thank everyone with our academic and personal circles that enabled us to give our education everything we had to give. For it will be this can-do attitude that will lead us on to our successes into the future. <laughs> I just lost my place. <laughs> Next, I'd like to thank, no, sorry, and, and rest assured that we will take our study to work. We're going forth into new ventures, new people, new faces, new ways of life. And we are going to meet and understand this whole new world and for it become more rounded individuals. Yes, there will be hard times. Yes, there will be a common moment where we we'll ask ourselves, was this all really worth it? But rest assured, we'll lean upon your teachings, your learning and advice, and overcome those challenges with spirited determination. Finally, my fellow graduates, today as our past begins to diverge, there will be some sad goodbyes. But we should remember our time together has been an amazing experience, truly a treasured memory. We should make the most of today, tonight, and celebrate away, because tomorrow is our next step on that big venture. I am certain we're all set to make a great impact within our society. I wish you all well, good luck, and thank you. Wes, thank you. No note, no scripts. Very good. Well done. I should now like to call for one final time on the Vice Chancellor, Professor Ian Martin, to address the new graduates. Vice Chancellor. And now, would all those who've been presented to me here on the stage today please stand? As Vice Chancellor of Anglia Ruskin University, I hereby admit you to the degrees, diplomas, and awards for which you have been presented to me here today. As a member now of the community of scholars, take all that you have learned into society and uphold the values of freedom and thought and scholarship. From all of us here at ARU, our warmest congratulations to each and every one of you. Well done. As each of you have crossed the stage, we've had cheers, applause, the few hoops, a few cheers. To reflect both the honor that your friends and supporters here in the room have given you today, but also to their support, can you now turn and face them and return the thanks? Well done, and enjoy the rest of the day. Well, if I was ever to worry that you'd got hold of my script, the next bit will show that you haven't, because that draws the ceremony to a close. I hereby declare proceedings closed, and can everybody now please stand for the academic procession? Bye.
Bye. 